Hey guys, it's Adam from Boom. What I want to do is give you a quick overview of what is Breeze. Breeze is the AI tool set within HubSpot. It's embedded inside HubSpot. We have Breeze Copilot. Breeze Copilot is a virtual assistant that follows you around wherever you are and does stuff for you. We have Breeze Agents, which are AI tools that provide a sequence of different tasks that chain together responses and we also have breeze intelligence so copilot you'll find that wherever you go it can do all sorts of things it can do company research so it can find information about that company it can prepare you for a meeting it can summarize what's happened with that contact previously and give you recommendations for that meeting you can use it to actually query the hubspot academy and ask it how to do things inside hubspot it can generate content it can actually write an email it can revise content based on the context of the record of the deal of the person. It can summarize calls. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. And it can also give you insights and do ticket management. If we look at this example here where I'm clicking on my colleague, Emma, and I see the co-pilot icon there, it immediately summarizes what we've done. And now I'm going to go and um, draft an email. And you can see there it summarized my in dealings with Emma over 10 engagements, one deal and six tickets. And I wanted to write an email for the fact that Inbound 2025 is in San Francisco, if I can spell San Francisco. And it's going to go away and do a bit of thinking. And here it is. It's drafted in an email. That's a brilliant email. It's really, really nice. It's beautifully written. It's probably a little bit formal to send to my own business partner. But actually, it does a lot of stuff really, really quickly. And now I'm actually going to ask it to create a task reminder for me to set up this meeting and there it is, it's done it. Absolutely brilliant, incredibly useful. So that's a, an example of Copilot. But the Breeze agents, they are phenomenal. Okay, we have the social agent, which produces social media content. We have the content agent, which produces a whole range of different things like landing pages and blogs. We have the prospecting agent and we have the customer agent. So let me go and look at these. Let's start with, um, so this is the page here we see. Let's start with, the social agent, so we're going to launch it. And we have a range of different things it can do around social posts, calendar, events, products and services, top forming topics, educational content. I'm going to ask it to choose a previous top performing content. And um, this was a post that was about our seventh birthday. They've done really well. Now it's just gone and created another post just like that, built new copy, the right hashtags, it's created a new image that's artificially generated, which I love that little candle. I've now got the option of creating variations of it. So three different options, option one, option two, option three. I actually gonna have a look at option two. I love that, insert that in. And now I need to do is schedule it. I'm going to decide which platform it goes from. It's gonna go from our BBD Boom LinkedIn account. There we go. And then I'm gonna hit schedule, that's it. That is now going to be scheduled and that's going to appear on our social media posts. So that is the social agent. It did all of that autonomously. I just tweaked it, checked it, looked at a different version and then scheduled it. Let's have a look at the content agent. Some examples of what it can do, create landing pages, create podcasts, create case studies. Oh my gosh, case studies who they are a real challenge in this example. I'm going to use it to create a blog post. And what I've done here is I've actually um, put some already stuff in here. So tell me the story of HubSpot's development from the inventors of inbound marketing and the origins with marketing automation to the evolution to being a world-class CRM and customer service tool that it is today. Fantastic. That's my brief. I'm going to put in my keywords, marketing automation, CRM. I'm going to say it's UK and let's go. What's it going to come up with now? What happens next? Next thing I have to do is choose a blog post title that I like and we've got three different versions here so I'm actually going to go for the top one which I like the most and then we come to the outline so what it's going to do is it rather than just go ahead and write the article straight away which is in the parlance of AI and chat GPT is a one shot this is going to be a multi-shot so it's giving me a breakdown of different topics within it so enhancing customer service the birth of inbound marketing. And then I'm going to add something else in. I'm going to add in AI and data, HubSpot moving with the evolution in whole technology. So I'm, I'm giving it paragraph headings, but I can also add more information under each paragraph heading. So I can give it more information to direct it. And then I hit generate and here we go. 
and it's created a blog for me. And that, now what I need to do is I need to edit it. So straight away, I think that title's a little bit too long. I don't like that as a title, so I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. So I'm going to take out that, and we're going to say the story of HubSpot's development from the inventors of inbound marketing to a world-class CRM customer platform. And just get that to world-class CRM. Nice. Okay, that was easy. And then if we go down here, it's generated an image. Now, of course, AI is not perfect. And when it comes to generating images, it's really not perfect. I'm going to try and generate another AI image, image for this. Of course, you don't need to do an AI image. You might have your own bit of creative or you might use a photo library. And I'm going to do an image of the HubSpot offices in Boston. And there we go. That's generated that. I'm going to put that in. And you'll notice that it can't spell HubSpot. So actually I'll delete that and put a different image in or keep generating more AI ones until I'm happy with it. But let's get into it. So the birth of inbound marketing HubSpot's revolutionary idea. And, you know, it's not a very long blog. So what I would probably do now is I'll probably add in more copy. I would probably do different things there. I'm just taking that old image out. I add more copy in. I would maybe regenerate some other elements of it. But the point is within seconds, I have a blog that I can start to edit. And there's another quite cool feature here, which is where it does audio previews. Discover the transformative journey of HubSpot from pioneering inbound marketing to becoming a comprehensive CRM, customer service and data platform. And that's just been, that's just happened in seconds. And I've got a blog that I can edit, that I can play around with, that I can improve. And that's just a very, very powerful place for us to build out useful content quickly. The next one I wanna show, it's possibly my favorite, it's the prospecting agent. So here we have the overview view, now this is in beta, not everyone can access this. You can get a dashboard of what emails have gone out or already been sent. So when it comes to setting up, you obviously need to connect it to your email and then connect it to your meeting link. In a way, this acts like sequences, but it's kind of the automatic version. And what I love is you put your website in and then it draws out information under these categories automatically. Now, I didn't even edit these very much because they were so good. What does your company sell? What's your value proposition? What's your pain point? What are your industries? What are the personas? And I'm going to go and add in another persona. I'm going to say chief sales officer, I believe. Okay. And so you can see here, the AI has then essentially got some background in which to generate content for you. That's, that's very linked to who you are. I've got the choice of, do I want the emails to be optimistic, witty, professional? And then we have autonomous and semi-autonomous. I would always recommend at this point that we do semi-autonomous and, and I'll give an example of that in a minute, but we have once it's up and running and you're happy with it, you could go fully autonomous. So I'm going to enroll or when it comes to enrollment, you can enroll companies or you can set that aut autonomous one. The autonomous one at the moment works in the following options. So when a form submitted, when there's been a certain amount of time view between an engagement or if a certain page has been viewed. So those are the ones that at the moment can be um, autonomous, but I'm gonna create one for Emma, my business partner. And as you can see, it is a sequence. It's creating a sequence that means that I can uh, you know, have a series of emails. This is a nice email to Emma. We haven't spoken recently, so here's some information. And here is the evidence. Now, this is really, really encouraging. This is taking the evidence from the contact record, from the CRM, the company record, and then it does external web research, looks at our values, looks at whether we've got any job openings, looks at things like that. And, and that's all being used to draft this email. So it's not just making it up, it's drawing on information to make it more intelligent. There's the email, I'm gonna go and edit it if I want. I'll put a space in there and put my name in and best wishes and all that sort of stuff. And that's a really fantastic little email that I can see. I love that. I would obviously do the American English to UK English, English, English. And then, then there's a follow-up email that's automatically put a two day delay in there. And then there's a third one that's an automatically two day delay. And there we go, off, off we go, that's enrolled. And so the, auto enrollment element of that, as you'd imagine, is just finding those contacts, drafting an email, 
creating the sequence and enrolling them automatically into the sequence. Absolutely mind blowing. And finally, creating content takes a lot of time. And with an ever increasing number of channels that marketers have access to, it can be difficult to keep up and produce quality content. Content Remix is a tool that makes it easy to take one piece of content and reformat it and reuse it across various channels. Let's take a look. Let's create a new remix as an example. We'll start by adding a piece of content. For this example, let's choose a landing page that I've already created. The landing page loads into the remix tool. I wanna to create a campaign, so let's choose social posts, blog posts, ad copy, and an email, and click next. Remixes uses AI to produce the different assets based on the one you gave it. And now you have all these assets created for you. Click view all content to see the pages and go edit them as needed. You can also save remixes to reuse them again. We have some templates we've created for you, but remixes you've done previously can also be done again using different pieces of content. So let's say you wanna send a blog to your social posts. You can view this remix. We can see what was created previously, but we can add a new blog post here and run the remix again. If you use a hub and spoke technique with your blog posts, you can use this remix that you created previously and change the blog post that feeds into it. Select the new blog post you wanna use, save it, and HubSpot will remix the content from that blog post into four others. With so many different marketing channels available to you, Remixes is a powerful tool that will help you create more content faster. Give it a try and see what you can create today. Thanks, Kyle. Love Carl. So he did a brilliant overview there of the content remix tool, which is just mind blowing. And the finalist agent is the customer agent. So the customer agent is what we probably call up until now the chat bot, but it's not just a chat bot where the, you get a set amount of questions and then it triages you down a particular route based on the answer. This is genuinely using, um, chat GPT technology and it's, in, it allows people to engage and converse and what the. AI assistant comes back with is really, really useful, really re relevant. The important thing to say is that you can train the AI assistant to look at your website, to look at your knowledge base and to look at external um, web specific external web pages to make sure the content is contained and relevant and accurate. So have a look at that. It's absolutely amazing. So overall then we have Breeze Copilot, Breeze Agents and other AI features such as AI clip and image creator, some of which aren't live yet. And part of all of this under the breeze umbrella is the enrichment technology and tools. So this is very much where Clearbit has been embedded into HubSpot. So we can enrich contacts, companies, we can do automated enrichment. So when there's gaps missing in a contact record, it can just go and find them and bring them in. We can bulk upload data. Maybe we have data from forms over the last year and there's gaps missing. We can bulk upload those and enrich them. So really, really powerful tools. So overall, Breeze is an incredible addition to the HubSpot suite. Um, if you want to know more about how you can unlock these betas, how you can start using it and understanding how AI can support your business, pre please get in contact with myself or anybody else from BBD Boom, and we'd love to help. Thanks for listening.